Well, right now, a group of Olympic athletes is calling on Governor Newsom to let young athletes get back to competition. Yeah, they joined with Orange County officials today to make their case. CBS 2's Leslie Marin shows us their plea. And I want to encourage Governor Newsom to open schools and open sports. From high school students to gold medalists, today a group of athletes gathered at this baseball diamond in Orange County calling on Governor Gavin Newsom to allow competitive youth sports to resume. It's a really safe environment, safer than most, for children to be involved in. Currently, California health officials only allow teams to conduct drills and training exercises, but they aren't allowed to play competitively against each other. Today, sports professionals took to the podium for a chance to persuade local leaders they can resume games safely. One player plus one parent. That eliminates the spread. You keep six feet apart. There's all kinds of open space. They don't need to be next to each other. They're not going to be able to congregate. This is absolutely heartbreaking to see our youth going through. Jessica Hardy Mike Tree is an Olympic gold medalist swimmer and a mother. She's been taking her kids to swim lessons and says she isn't worried about the virus when protocols are followed. And the fact that you know they're taking such safe protocols to make sure that everyone stays as safe as possible, I, I feel more than safe. I feel safer than I've ever felt in my life. Supervisor Don Wagner talked about the possible impact this is having on youth mental health. He believes parents should simply be given the option to allow their kids to return to sports safely if they want. We are hearing about more and more people with suicidal thoughts, with depression, and it's a result of this lockdown. The parents are not going to send their kids out if they don't feel safe. Let us find ways to open safely, but let us find ways now to do it because our kids are suffering. Health officials have said that younger children and younger adults may be less prone to serious illnesses when it comes to coronavirus, but Orange County has reported at least one juvenile death, a teenage girl with underlying health conditions. Reporting in studio, Lizzie Marin, CBS 2 News.